हेलो वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माय यूट्यूब प्लेलिस्ट एंगुलर इंटरनेशनलाइजेशन इन दिस प्लेलिस्ट आई एम डिस्कसिंग डिफरेंट वेज टू यूज एन जी एक्स ट्रांसलेट टू क्रिएट माल्टिलिंगुअल एप्लीकेशन द लास्ट कपल ऑफ वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड द बेसिक ऑफ एन जी एक्स ट्रांसलेट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल इट इन एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन एंड डेमोनस्ट्रेटेड द वे टू क्रिएट माल्टियल lingual application using ngx translate and the http loader in that demonstration i used to loader to load the translation data and stored the data in json file http loader can load the translation data automatically we don't need to add the translation file manually in this video i'll discuss how to add translation file manually and use type script to store translation data we can use set translation method of ngx translate to add translation file manually this is the application i had created in the last video let's run the application open the terminal window type npm start to start the application sorry i was misspelled this is our app demo application in browser current version of this multilingual demo application serves two languages one is english and another one is bangla by default english has been chosen because my browser language is english and the content is the english let's change it to bangla so here it is now we can see the bangla content because the language has been translated successfully using http loader let's refactor the code as i was planning to use the set translation method so we don't need the http loader so let's remove from it package json here it is this is the package for http loader remove it from the package json file to uninstall this package from my environment i need to run the npm install this npm install command installs the package mentioned in the package json if they are not installed and uninstall those install packages not mentioned in the package json install means the package will be downloaded to a node modules under the project directory and un uninstall means it will be removed from there let's uh, browse my project directory this is my project directory this is the node modules and here is the ngx translate under the, under this folder we see the two packages one is core and another one is http loader as i delete this package name from the package json folder if i run the npm install this will be removed from this folder let's run the npm install yes the package has been removed successfully let's check uh, the project directory again here we can see there is only one folder is core and no folder for the http loader and see the browser the application is not working because uh, the application the code of the application has still some references of ngx translate http loader so let's remove those references so let's check the app module there is the one reference uh, let's remove it let's 
remove this code also and this should be removed make it simple save yeah the application compiled successfully let's browse see the browser yeah the application is working but we don't see the content we see only the language code so let's make the application functional this is the asset folders under these folders we can see a folder name i18n this is the internationalization folder i places the translation data under this folder the two json files enjson enjson and bnjson enjson basically contains the uh, English data and VNJ contains the Bangla data. Let's create two another file because I planning to use uh, TypeScript instead of a JSON file. So let create n.ts. Another one is bn.ts. Okay. Okay. In ENTS file. I'm creating a constant object. So first property of this object object is slang. This is basically the language code for English. It will be for for English for English it is en. And the another property is data. This is basically translation data let's copy the data from en json okay remove the quotation from the property json property Okay, this is fine. Let's add some content of this file in similar OS like like this. It should have been another property this data and the language could should be bn because it is the bangla version so let's copy data from bn json file okay so let's get get rid of all quotation from the json property Okay, we're done with the TypeScript file. Let's move to the app component. Yes, so as this is TypeScript, this is the Mark script. So we need, we can import this file to the app component. So let's import it.
the sets i and n. So the local class English language. So then make it copy, paste here and change it to pn. This is the another file and name it Bangla. So I imported both English and Bangla language. Now I will use the translate set translation method to add this file. So here is the translate translate dot set translation. So first parameter is the language code. So for English lang, here is the language code. And the second parameter is the translation data. The English lang putting the data here. And there is the another parameter that we see the shoot marks. So if we make if we put here true, it basically append the translation file, translation keyword instead of replacing them. So I added the English language in file. So in similar way, I will add the Bangla language. So the language code has the language data. So we are all set. Let's see in browser. Okay, the application we have seen after refactoring the same so we can we see the content of english as the english language has been chosen if we change to bangla ah, it is bangla content now now we can see the content of bangla the language has been translated successfully In the next video i'll discuss how this could move to a separate angular service.